dear viewers of the world, it's true. I have a forehead. <laughs> hey everybody and welcome to Tea Time Tuesday. My name is Colette and welcome to the show. Today we're going to be trying Tazel's Rest, which is filled with lemon balm, rose petals, honey bush, orange peel, lemon myrtle, lemon verbena, licorice root, lavender, valerian root, natural flavors, ginger, orange essence oil, and Chinese geranium oil. Valerian root is a root <laughs> and uh, it's supposed to be kind of like a sedative calms you down calms you way down and is also supposed to relieve anxiety so for all you crazy people it might help you lemon myrtle is just a flowering plant that's kind of close to lemon verbena so right glad we cleared that up i was real confused let's get restful I forgot to mention on the little packet, it says a herbal infusion of a lulling blend of rose petals, valerian root, and citrusy herbs. So, it smells really lemony. I don't like lemon. <laughs> you like my tikka? My sister got it for me for Christmas. It is a peacock. That's not what I expected at all. I expected it to be like, you know, drinking perfume since it's like super rose petaled out here. Freaking. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's actually really, really weird. It kind of has the same uh, feeling that I get from the vanilla Roy Boys. Roy Boys? I can never say it. Um, one from the Village Tea Company, where it's like super like calming. So of course, rest. <laughs> you would think it would be restful. So, but it's really nice. I've been like super stressed out with school and crap. So like this is this is kind of a nice little way to wind down before I you know jet off to work or jet off to class. So I can just sit there, take it easy and live life accordingly. Is this how you hold this cup? I think I get it now. <laughs> I honestly, I can't stop sipping it. It's good. It's real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you like a dance, but we're supposed to be peaceful right now, right? Could do some weird. That is my sad attempt at Indian music. I've been learning a lot about Hinduism, so I got all of that stuff in my head. Who knows, this tea might bring you one step closer to moksha. I guess I will see you guys next week. Bye.